Hello there, my name is Nina Mapson-Bone. I'm the Managing Director here at Beaumont People, although not here because like many of you, I'm working from home now. And I just wanted to take a moment to discuss that very fact with you. We've had a lot of people reaching out to us and asking us, how do you manage your workforce productively? How do you keep them motivated? How do you know if they're actually doing what you need them to do when everybody's working from home? And for a lot of people, this is the first time they've had anyone working from home, let alone their entire organizations. We all know that people management is one of the hardest things to get right, even when you can look the people in the eye and you can get a sense of how they're feeling and how they're going. So trying to get that right with a remote workforce is even more challenging. So we thought it might be helpful to share some of the tips and tricks that we're hearing from our clients and our candidates about what's working out there. The first thing I would say, and this is the crucially important thing at this particular point in time, is you need to really take the time and the effort to ensure as much as possible the mental health of your employees is being looked after. Obviously, this is, can be a very stressful time, it's a very anxious time, and people's routines and their expectations are completely askance from what they're used to. So where possible, make sure you reach out to people that you create some positivity and some maybe some practices that will help people's mental health. Now, do you remember you're not a qualified counsellor, unless you are obviously, but most of you would not be qualified counsellors. And if you have any genuine concerns, you must always refer your people to the professionals that can actually assist them. But in a day-to-day -day sense, as, there's, as their leader, there's a lot you can still do. And there's a lot you can ask the team to do to help. So we've had, for example, uh, good news on a Friday afternoon, which we used to do in the office. We all still do virtually, where everybody has to think of at least three good things that have happened that week in a work sense and share it virtually amongst the team. We do that as a big a Zoom meeting. We just had this morning our first daily morning workout where two of our team got everybody online and, and doing squats and push-ups and tricep I don't even know what they are, those things all together uh, to help keep us fit and healthy because we're all discovering that we're eating perhaps more chocolate and biscuits than we should be in the current situation. But also check in with people. When you can't see their face and you can't get a sense of their body language, it's much harder to know how they're doing. And I know certainly one of the things I normally do would be walk around the office first thing in the morning and just have a little look to get a sense of people's body language. And we can't do that at the moment. So whilst it might take a bit more time, reach out, talk to people, check in and make sure they're okay. Because if the mental health of your employees is not good, you're not going to be able to maintain that productivity. So that's my first piece. The second piece I'd then think about is you need to get the right line, the right kind of gauge on the spectrum between trust and accountability. And the first thing you need to question yourself on as a leader is if you're lacking in trust of an employee, is that your natural personality or is there a reason you don't trust that person? It might be that you are naturally somebody that needs to know everything to, in order to feel a level of comfort around what's happening. And that's gonna be hard at the moment. So check yourself, check if your concern around whether you trust your people is about your personality. But if you do have some concern around actually trusting some of your employees, are they actually working? What are they doing? Then do put some measures in place. It's okay at this point in time to be a bit more structured around what you expect from reporting. Most people have some sort of database or some sort of way of recording the mechanisms of what they're doing. Um, even on Microsoft Teams, you can see when people are online or offline. I mean, obviously people could just click on and then walk away and sit down with their family and play a board game or whatever. But most people, you can see when they're active and what they're doing. But maybe ask for daily or weekly reports that you might not have asked before to get a sense of what's happening out there. That's also crucial in terms of your ability to navigate your way through this situation. The other thing is, if you haven't already, start implementing regular one-on-ones with your direct reports. I would absolutely do this as a minimum weekly, and at this time you might even want to do it more frequently than that. Those one-on-ones should have a structured agenda, and they should really help you understand what's going on in their space and give them time to bounce ideas and talk through things with you. So make sure you have that in there. And do group check-ins and see where you're at. So that productivity, that trust piece is important, but also give them the freedom to be accountable to do what they want to do. The final thing around that is ensuring that you create a sense of culture and a sense of community and a sense of spirit. And that's hard. It's much harder when everybody works remotely. But you know what? Everybody is craving out for human interaction at the moment. 
So don't be afraid to do some fun things. Maybe be a, bit, a little bit more loose than you would be. Have a bit of fun, send some jokes around. As I said earlier, share the good news. Do what you can to create that sense of, of team spirit and team culture. It's really crucial at a time like this. So I wish you the best of luck as we navigate our way through this. It might be the first time for many of you, but as we get through this, what we'll find is we're all far more better and far more trusting of our employees, which can only be a good thing, right? Good luck.